So this is my car again, it's another demonstration using the PicoScope. So you can see that I've got the ABS fault light is on. Now I've induced this fault myself, I've disconnected the front ABS sensor, front driver side, front right hand side and uh, what I'll show you here is using the PicoScope to see what kind of wave waveform you get out of this thing. So just to verify it, I go to the hotel and you can see that it's the third code down that says present. It's a wheel speed sensor front right. Just ignore the other two codes. I've had them there for ages. Never got around to fix them. So the way I pinned this thing out, I've showed this in other videos. This is a wee Raspberry Pi, the wee mini computer. But from the GPI opens, you get these leads. These are perfect for connecting in a like Bosch and Amp a pin configurations. It fits snugly and you can get them off of Amazon or eBay and they cost pennies. So they're great for making up leads. So you can see I've connected into the wire and harness side. This is a bit that comes from the computer. So that's my, I've just used my multimeter and that's my air side. And then on this other side we should find 12 volts. So that shows you've got circuit integrity. Well, it's actually 11 volts. You see it on the display, it's 11 volts. But what I do is I load the circuit up. And you can see, you watch it. This is the load pro that I'm using. When you load the circuit up, you press the button, it drops to six volts. So, what that means is this is perfectly normal for a, an ABS circuit. It means that that's just a biased voltage and it's meant to operate like that. It would be exactly the same if you had your multimeter on and you put a test light on, like a 200 milliamp test light, it would do exactly the same. The voltage would drop and the circuit is designed like this. So that's me just pressing the button again and you can see the voltage drops. So what I'll do now is take you to the PicoScope and show you what the waveform looks like when I connect into the circuit. So that's me, everything's connected back up and I've got my test leads on there. I've actually got them reversed but it doesn't matter. I, I end up showing negative 12 volts but it's okay. So that's me, we connected up, oh, showing you these pins again, sorry about that. And we then go to the, the scope and we, what we do is, sorry, I'm showing the picro scope. I then I show you the scan tool, so we, we burrow the wheel and you can see that we're getting a reading on uh, the second one down. So I'll burrow the wheel and you can see that it's going up to 9, 10 miles, 10 kilometres an hour. So I'll show you the, exactly the same waveform on the picro scope. So I've set that to AC, AC coupled, so it just shows you going up and down and the 1 volt di division. So we just roll it and as I start turning the wheel you'll see the signal that's been generated. So you can see that I'm turning the wheel and I'll take you back to the screenshot recording and you can see you get quite a nice looking signal appearing on the screen. Now what I would actually say if you're driving the car, eh, I've actually done this with a Jag if you're driving the car along, the signal looks really noisy, and that's normal. What you're actually better to do is coast the car down the road in neutral, with engine off, ignition on, and you get a far cleaner signal. So that's the... Uh, we'll move it on, and we'll just I'll just zoom in on this signal and show you what it looks like. I think it's... was it half a volt? No, point two of a volt, peak to peak. It really should be measured with a an amps clamp at a very low range but that's what the signal looks like uh, on this ABS sensor. There are lots of cars like this that uh, the signal is actually at 12 volts but this uh, signal it's the AC component of the signal that uh, it looks at no it looks at the milliamp range of the signal. So I'll then switch to DC and show you what it looks like but you've got to go up to the 20 20 volt range and uh, if we hit record here you'll see it when I burrow the wheel again you just see a tiny wee trace appear and uh, that that's it going now as you burrow the wheel and you can stop your recording then you can zoom in but it's no, no it's quite as clear or quite as nice as using the AC facility so the, you can still see the waveform it doesn't move very much but that's all the computer needs to see so I hope that uh, shows the benefits of a cheap picoscope and uh, it's of some use to someday. The other thing I was going to say, you could also, rather than being down here, we could have pinned it out up at the ABS controller. We could have got exactly, well, we could have checked power and grounds and the signal up there, but 
I think on EBS you're actually better just to check it at the sensor anyway. So I hope that helps someone. Cheers.